Hello, and welcome to an episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, we're going to discuss converting partitions. Now, uh, if you're familiar with Windows 95 and 98 and Windows Me, uh, these are earlier versions that uh, preceded Windows XP. Now, they used format uh, the file or location table, which were known as FAT, or FAT16, or FAT32. Now, you'll also notice that many flash drives will use either uh, fit, uh, FAT16 or FAT32. The reason for this is because if you use NTFS, earlier versions of Windows could not read it. FAT16 and FAT32 makes it compatible with multiple operating systems, even the earlier versions. And it also makes it compatible to Macintosh and Apple computers as well. Now, if you have a Windows XP, you can check to see if it is uh, the hard drive or the partition, in this case, was formatted to NTFS. Some cases it was not because it was an upgrade from Windows Me or Windows 98. And the person didn't up, uh, convert the drive to NTFS. Uh, the NTFS stands for New Technology File System. And that's what it is. It was introduced when it came out with Windows XP. And it was first developed for Windows NT operating system. And now, all the Windows since XP uses this type of format. Now, if you have an old hard drive or you're wanting to convert the drive that you have in your computer to NTFS, you can using this software. It's called Partition Assistant Home Edition by AOMEI and I do have other tutorials referring to this software. Now this software is free for private and commercial use and if you look towards or in the descriptions below uh, I do give a link to where you can get your own copy of this software. I will also include the address at the end of the video to where you can also get your free copy of the software too. Now, to convert the NTFS, it's fairly simple. All we need to do is select the partition in question. In this case, we're going to do Drive F, or Partition F, which is labeled Copy of G. And, as you can see here, it's using FAT32 filing system. And it tells you the size, how much of the information is on it, and what type it is. Well, what we're going to do is convert it to NTFS. We'll select the drive, right click it, and then choose Advance, and then go down and choose Convert NTFS. Now, you can also look over here, and you'll also see that the command is over here. Now, if you also go up here to Partition, choose Advance, and then Convert. So there are three places you can go to. So let's go ahead and click Convert. And now it's going to say that it's going to convert the filing system to a selected partition. Now, we can choose NTFS. And it says that if the partition has some errors, you need to fix the errors by using check disk. Okay. Well, we don't know if there's any errors on here. So, to do that, let's click, click Cancel. And we'll go to uh, Check Partition, which is down here. 
and you have two choices. You can either check the partition for errors by using check disk, or you can check whether there is bad sectors on the partition. Now the first one only checks to see if anything has been recorded. It just does a run over of the hard drive to check for any errors. So let's choose OK. And here it's going to check to see if there's any problems. Now if it does detect problems, let me show you where you can go to fix the problems. Now as you can see here it says there's nothing wrong with it and it found no problem so we know we're okay. However, if you do run into the problems and that there are errors that are found, uh, go to computer or start then computer and select the drive, right click it on the mouse, choose properties, then come up here to the tabs and choose tools and then you'll see error checking and check now. and then choose continue. Now here is where you want to automatically fix the filing system for errors. And then you just choose start. And depending on the size of the drive, uh, this will fix any kind of problems it had found. Uh, if it has found some, it will tell you. And then you can click on see details and it will just tell you all the stuff that it did find and it corrected. So we checked it out. The partition is good, so we're okay to convert it. So I'll right click it, go to Advance, go to Convert to NTFS, and now we have it highlighted. We did check that there was no errors on there and now we can choose OK. Now keep in mind that it's not completed yet and if you look up here this is what it's going to look like when the process is finished. Now once you do your other par uh, pending operations in order as you see down here then you come up here and choose apply. Now here it shows a drive that it's going to work the drive letter that it's named, the partition's name or label, and what the filing system is going to do. As you can see here, it's going to go from FAT32 to NTFS. And of course, it tells you the size. Now, the longer the size, the bigger the size, the longer it will take. And it'll tell you an estimated time for the, for the completion. Now you choose proceed. Choose yes and wait for it to finish. And then you choose OK. Now once the drives are reloaded, you'll notice here now that it's NTFS and that's all there is to convert your partition from the previous FAT 16 or FAT32 to NTFS. Well, I am your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation of e by ES Repair. We have other do-it-yourself videos, and there are other tutorials to this software. Thank you for watching.